Hey, what's up, guys? New York Niles here with a tip video for you guys. A lot of you requested it. I'm thinking I'm going to make it into a series, and I'm thinking I'm going to name it TWN, Tips with Niles. If you have any other suggestions, be happy to comment. Love those comments. Keep them coming. Gives me something to do. I like it. I like reading your comments. I like your feedback. I love feedback. And uh, basically everything you have to say, it makes me feel good when I get a comment. It makes me, uh, I don't know, makes me feel like I did good. So, anyway, let's get right on into this. I picked the Texans because, actually I'll tell you later why I picked the Texans and Broncos. There's a specific reason why. You guys will see later. But, the tip for today is subs during the formation screen. Yes. Like, uh, most of you make your subs, you go over here, go to coaching options, your guys... Your opponent's flipping out, like, get out of the thing, you're going like this, looking at all these stats, but if you already know, ooh, 98, nice. And as you can see, this is a main, another point I wanted to make, 98, 74. Hmm. And, uh, this is a, um, the reason I picked the Broncos, I'll elaborate later. 95, 82. Ooh. So. You guys will see later. Oh, that's not what I wanted to look at. Let's look at man coverage. Let's look at the man coverage. Let's look at this guy's any man coverage. I think I might have passed it. Did not. Oh, damn. Um. Okay. So I'm going. That that doesn't matter. I'm gonna leave him like that. Let's go like that. Let's bring him out because that kind of ruins the whole th idea I have here. Actually, it doesn't ruin it, but it makes it a little more difficult. Let's heighten our odds a little bit. So, put him there. Okay, so most of you do that, but what you can do is, say I pick a formation I want to do, mm, let's say I want to do split slot. So, first, come out, I'll go man coverage for him, let's go like that, let's go like this, and so, Andre Johnson is on Champ Bailey, and Champ Bailey is a great cornerback, so he should cover this really well. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hmm. Alright, let me try something else. Let's try... Let's try that. And let's try them going like that. So, Andre Johnson should be covered fairly well, or just blast through them again. Champ Bailey's acting like an old, an old corner. Alright, so pretend... That Champ Bailey was covering my guy ridiculously well. Because that's what's supposed to happen, and it's not. So he's getting open every time. So, Champ Bailey's covering him amazingly, right? He can't get open at all. Anything I do, it's just it's just not getting open. Champ Bailey just covers it perfectly, gets the pick. There's nothing I could do. I'm getting really depressed. I have this great receiver, and he's just not getting open. And every time I go... To the depth, the depth chart, he switches his corner to the left because he knows I'm switching him to the left. So when I go like that, say that's Champ Bailey over here. He puts Champ Bailey there, blocks it down. There's nothing I could do. What am I going to do? I'm never going to win this game. But there is something you can do. So if you're in a real game, you won't have to do this. But go to, say you're going to choose a play, and the other team does man coverage again because Champ Bailey has beast man coverage. Let's do... Um, Let's do 4-3 stack, and I do this play, and I'm like, hmm, I saw this video from New York Niles, and he told me that I can press this uh, right bumper, or R1, on the PS3, it's right bumper on Xbox, and, uh, oh, whoa, what is this? So, what this does is lets you sub in-game, hopefully you're fast at it so he doesn't realize you're doing it, so sub in anyone for Andre Johnson, then go over to here, put Andre Johnson over there, then put your bad receiver back over there. Now Andre Johnson's on the left without him knowing. So basically what that allows for is now when I do this play, see Andre Johnson over there, Champ Bailey's still over there. I do this, hopefully should get open. There we go, look at him just annihilating that coverage. And that's basically what that's going to do, is allow you to do things like that, put amazing Andre Johnson, oh, that was a, that was a bad decision. I'm sorry. That's mainly a zone play, so maybe something more like... Uh, that would be a little bit better. Oh, or not. What? He's covering him better than Champ Bailey. I'm just going to throw a random throw. But pretend he's absolute shit right now and can't cover Andre Johnson, which is. be able to. But, oh, um. Porter, you're not making a good point right now. Someone catch him. There we go, Foster. 
Pretend that was happening. Or actually, it is happening. You actually are seeing it wrong. So, so now Andre Johnson's getting open every single time, no matter what I do. Because I have him on a bad corner. And then he goes to switch him back. And, of course, the, the normal thing is, the next play, you get to choose a new play without having to do that bullshit. So, then I just switch him back. It's easy as that. Or, say, I have my fullback here. And I want someone who can catch a little bit better. So I put my my tight end, or I want someone who can run the ball. Put Ben Tate there. Or, actually, this works better out of this formation. Strong, whatever, thing. And I, will, I like force it better. So I put force it there. I put Foster there. I, uh, put Andre. I keep Andre right there. Actually, I put Andre. This is kind of annoying, because, look, ready? When I'm going right... And then it goes to the left, and then I go right, and it goes down. It's like, it's a really weird thing. You're going to have to get used to it. But and I put Andre there. Go back over here. And put Gene there. Or actually, let's put Owen Daniels there. So now I can run. This is not going to work because it's an all-out blitz. I don't know why I picked it. But I could run like that with Forset, who I like better than Ben Tate. Or I can run like that with Foster. And, um, without him even knowing. So it's definitely a useful tip. I definitely use it a lot. Especially because, you know, Andre Johnson right now is up against a linebacker. Which usually is no good. But, you know, can't do that. That's, that, uh, um, hmm. You're not making good points here, Andre. You're doing better against, uh, old men than this guy's. These youngins. So... This is a helpful tip, especially if you're versing like Darrell Revis and like uh, Antonio Camardi's dead or something. Broke his leg, broke his collarbone, he fainted, had a heart attack, doesn't matter. So, hopefully this helps you. I um, It definitely helped me a lot. A ton, actually. I believe it was uh, GS, so definitely go watch his too. He might have done a little bit better than me, obviously. He's uh, an amazing commentator. If you're seeing this, and by some amazing chance you haven't seen one of his videos... Definitely go check it out. He's an amazing commentator. And if you made it all the way through this video, I hope, please like, comment. I love your comments. Please comment. And subscribe as always. Anyway, hope you guys had a nice day. See you guys next time. <laughs> I had to kind of continue that on. Kind of got cut off. But this is, I just want to show you guys this real quick, is absolutely amazing. I've never seen this happen before. And actually, me and one of my friends were arguing about this a while ago, that if you picked off a pitch, it would be considered an interception. I said, no, it's behind the lines, considered a fumble recovery. He was like, no, it never touched the ground, it's an interception. And then everyone sided with him, no one sided with me, and it is a fumble recovery. And for those that don't believe, I'll show you at the end of the game, this guy, Michael Huff, had no interceptions and one fumble recovery for what was it, like 90 or 87 yards or something like that. Absolutely amazing. I've never, ever, ever seen this happen before. I can't take the credit. It was all the computer, which is even crazier, that the computer picked off a pitch. Like, And if you guys can see, this was um, this was actually during a connected career. And if you could see the top, it was tied. They were about to take the lead. And this was, I believe, the game before the Super Bowl in the playoffs. So this game... This this right here saved me and helped me into the playoffs. So this is just me showing you guys real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Please like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and have a nice day.